Are you thinking of studying medicine? Well, think again. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Shivan and I'm a second year medical student studying at King's College London. And today I'm going to talk to you about reasons you should not study medicine. And if any of these are true for you, I suggest you reconsider your decision of going to medical school or applying to medical school or becoming a doctor. First, I want you to go check out my YouTube channel. I make videos about medical school and university, day in the life videos, vlogs, get into medical school videos, things like that. So go check it out and if you enjoy my videos, do hit that subscribe button and follow me for a lot more. Anyway, so let's get right into this. Today I'm going to talk to you about bad motivators for studying medicine, so not good reasons. And I'm going to talk to you about the challenges of studying medicine as well. So reasons why you potentially shouldn't study medicine rather than bad reasons for studying medicine. So just a disclaimer, this video is not to discourage you from studying medicine. It's sort of a way to show you the reality and to present you with some of the difficulties of studying medicine so that you can make an informed decision. So let's get right into it. The first reason I would say is if you're in it for the money. Medicine is not the right career to chase if you're chasing money because one, it's not that lucrative a profession. It takes a long time to reach a position where you're earning a large amount of money and in your internship years, your junior years as a junior doctor, as a resident, whatever, you're not gonna be earning a lot. You're gonna be on the lower side of the average pay scale. And it takes a long time to reach that position where you're earning a lot of money and that too only happens in countries like the US and Canada where healthcare isn't public and in countries like the UK you can't earn an insane amount of money even once you reach the highest level as a consultant or whatever unless you're working in private healthcare. Though you, there's a potential for earning good money eventually the amount of hard work you have to do to get there, it's its just not proportionate. So unless you have an actual interest in medicine, it's really not worth it. Medical school itself is so expensive. If you're an international student in the UK, it costs you somewhere around £200,000 to get through just paying the fees of med school. In the US, regardless, it's very, very expensive. You have to do four years of pre-med and then four years of medicine. Tuitions range from $50,000 to $80,000 a year. So you're looking at either a massive sum of money being paid to the universities and the medical schools or a large amount of student debt or student loans. So, I mean, I'd say it's definitely worth it if you're really passionate about medicine itself. And if you're really interested in the science, in the discipline, but if you're doing it for the money, not a good idea. Now, the second bad reason for studying medicine is if you like science, but you do not like humans. So a large part of medicine is human interaction. You're not just studying medical science, you're applying medical science to actual people. So you have to be good at speaking to patients, working with other doctors and obviously communicating and interacting with them, nurses, other healthcare staff, all of that. So you really need to be into people because uh, this is not like a desk job or a research role where you're in a lab or on a desk and you're with a computer or you know lab equipment all day. No, your main sort of resource here is people. Although when you go into medicine, there are other opportunities. Through your five years, six years, seven years, whatever, of med school and as through the times where you're going to be a junior doctor, the training you have to get through, there'll be so much human interaction that if you hate it, you just won't be able to survive. Now the third reason, the third reason is if you think you're going to have fun all the time or you're going to be interested all the time, you're not. There's so much in medicine, you're going to learn so many different things, you're going to go through so many different specialties, there's so many different components to medical school. You're not going to enjoy everything. There are going to be things that you find fascinating and there are things that are going to bore you. There are things that you're just going to have to force yourself through sometimes and that's okay. If you think you can deal with that, then great because 
you know, you're going to have to do it a little bit. But if you want to be engaged 24-7, I mean, no, that's not what, that's not how medical school works and that's not how most of life works. There are always some parts that you'll enjoy and some parts that you won't. So don't think medicine is going to be something like super fun and super engaging all the time. That is, it's similar in the hospital. There's administrative work, paperwork, things like that, components of your job that aren't, you know, so colorful all the time. And that's where like TV shows and stuff paint medicine a little differently than it actually is. The fourth reason you shouldn't study medicine is if you're not an emotionally resilient person or if you think you don't have the capability for emotional resilience. So as a medical student or as a doctor, you're going to be dealing with many difficult situations personally and when it comes to a healthcare setting and patients. You're going to be dealing with people who are having problems, who are suffering, who could be nearing the end of their life or you could even be seeing people die. You will see people die. You'll see people down in the deepest, darkest parts of their lives. And uh, you yourself will go through some very hard times. You'll face pressure of work. You'll face pressure from colleagues, from people you're working with. So if you don't think you have the capability to deal with this, to deal with the stress, if you're not good at this, then you definitely want to think about medicine as a career. I'm not saying you have to be the strongest person out there, extremely emotionally resilient and all of that. No, you just need to believe that it's something that you will be able to do and that it's something you can learn. And if you're not someone who completely breaks down under stress, someone who cannot take emotionally challenging and painful situations potentially, then maybe this is a bit of a red flag in terms of the profession. The fifth reason is if you're, if you're not good at teamwork, if you're not good at working with others, if you're not good at working collaboratively, that's going to be a problem. Because medicine, a large part of medicine is working as a team to achieve a goal together and supporting those around you. It's not about being the best at the cost of others. It's not about being super competitive. There's a healthy amount of competition that's acceptable, but at the end of the day, working collaboratively is what it's all about. So my friend said this one quote to me, I can't phrase it perfectly, but he basically said that there's no point of like, you know, I think he heard it from somewhere as well, but he said, there's no point of climbing a mountain and reaching the peak if you're gonna be up there all alone. And that's kind of like what medical school is. There's no point of getting to the end if there's no one there with you. So you want to work together and all climb and reach that peak together. So you need to support other people around you and some days someone else may do better because you helped them. And uh, some days you may do better because someone else helped you. So you need to have that collaborative sort of mindset. So that's a very important thing in medicine. And if this is something you can't do, then definitely reconsider it because it's not the place where you push everyone out of the way to shine yourself. No, it's sometimes you're not gonna be the center of attention, but you're just gonna be a small cog in a big system that benefits a lot of people. And the last bad reason to study medicine, probably the worst reason, to study medicine is because it's the thing to do. That could mean everyone in your family is studying medicine so you feel pressured to study it or you feel like, oh, I should study medicine as well. Or if everyone around you in school is planning to study medicine, your best friend is studying medicine, something like that, no. You wanna study medicine because it's something you want to do, not because it's the thing to do. And you really wanna be sure of this decision yourself. You don't want any external pressure to make this decision. Yes, you can have external inspiration. All of us have external inspiration. But when there's external pressure and that's the deciding factor, that's a problem. Because at some point, this external pressure is going to vanish and then you'll be left to face your own decision that you made for the wrong reasons and that won't go well and you'll burn out really really quickly. So those are the main reasons that you should not study medicine, bad reasons for studying medicine and the challenges of studying medicine. 
Uh, these are the main ones I could think of that when I spent a lot of time, you know, making this video, this is all I came up with. But I'm sure there are a few other positives and negatives for you out there. But I hope this video was helpful and although I give you a lot of negative sort of sides in this video, I have another video about the entire positive aspect of it, reasons why you should study medicine. So I'll put that up here and down in the description below. So do go check it out and uh, use both these videos together to sort of make your decision or to reinforce your decision. And I hope it helps you. I hope it helps lead you to a decision at least or it's a tool in your decision making process. And if it's helpful, if it's useful, then drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. Leave any comments you want down below. Ask me any questions, anything like that. And uh, with that, I will see you in the next one.